with the release of GMS3, we really wanted to significantly increase the user experience for you all. And this is why we are introducing a new uh, Gemma Python library. Uh, I'm gonna, in this talk, I'm going like, to demonstrate some of the features um, that this library provides. The first thing you probably want to do is to just chat with the model. So let's look at an example. Um, you start by importing the library, uh, choose uh, one of the Gemma architecture, load the parameters, so each of the Gemma models come in two flavors, the pre-trained version or the instruction tuned. And then uh, with our uh, sampler interface, you can start uh, querying the model about uh, your last uh, programming problem, or in this case, uh, this beautiful poem about uh, open weight LLMs. Um, and I'm sure you also want to try the multi turn capability of uh, our model. So you activate the multi turn in the sampler, and then the model will remember uh, the context of your query and automatically handle the caching for you so it only, uh, only computes the last queries. And um, similarly, with a multimodal, um, you only need to specify the special uh, token inside your prompt and then provide the images, uh, like the raw images, to the chat uh, interface. And uh, in this case, uh, Gemma3 will help me choose where I will spend my next holidays. And um, uh, like, fine uh, like inference is only part of the problem. Um, you also want to be able, like because our models are open weight, uh, you want to be able to customize them for your custom use case and uh, your custom data. And this is why we um, make it as easy as possible for you by integrating Gemma with Cauldron. Cauldron is an open source library actively used at Google and that is designed to train any arbitrary model on any arbitrary um, modalities. If we look at an example, I'm sure this API will look very um, familiar with a lot of you. You import the library, you create the trainer, and then you call the train method um, like that will uh, launch the training and return the final parameters. Um, for the dataset side, we support, uh, we are not bound to any dataset provider, and we support out of the box a standard provider like Hugging Face, TensorFlow dataset, um, or simpler format like uh, JSON. And if you have a custom format or a custom data set, it's also very easy to create your own wrapper uh, to integrate it with our data set. Uh, then we have this uh, transform API that allows you to apply specific transformation to the individual element of your data set. For example, to apply uh, tokenizing or padding. With the Gemma library, we provide high level transformation for the common tasks that you want to use like a supervised fine tuning. So in this case, it will take a pair of question and answer from your data set and uh, convert them into the input tokens that will be fed to the model and loss. Uh, then you can pass so, this data set to your trainer. Uh, and then you connect uh, your data set to your model and loss using the special uh, string key. We think that this system is very flexible because then we are not bound to any uh, particular data set structure. And uh, um, if, for example, you want to switch uh, to train on multimodal data, the only thing you need to do is to, one, add some, uh, like have a data set that will return images. And then with a single line of code, you indicate to your model that uh, it should also use uh, those image from this data set. And the rest of the training is completely identical and uh, will work out of the box. For the optimizer, uh, we use app tags that uh, provide all the standard optimizer um, out of the box, but also uh, have a more advanced capability for like gradient clipping, weight decay, or complex learning rate schedules. <coughs> so once you have your trainer, 
you often want to customize specific fields uh, from it. And in most programming code base, what you will do is then you will duplicate the, this field inside your config and then like try to propagate the field uh, inside your code base until the place it is actually used. And uh, here we want to remove all indirection between your config and your code. Uh, so uh, this is why you can just uh, add your trainer definition inside a config file and all the field from the trainer will be automatically configurable through the command line. So in this case, you indicate um, which uh, config you want to launch, and then you can overwrite arbitrary fields from this config, and this supports uh, any Python code and any function, so you don't need to modify anything about uh, uh, your uh, class if you have like a custom loss or custom thing, you can just plug them inside the trainer and things will work uh, uh, out of the box. And uh, if you go to our GitHub, we provide some of those default uh, trainer configs for the most common use cases like supervised fine tuning, uh, multimodal, uh, classification, uh, DPO, and more. Uh, we also have a bunch of collabs uh, that explore more into details some specific uh, features of the libraries. Uh, and now I'm going to talk about some more advanced features. So if you have access to multiple GPU, often it's quite complicated uh, to uh, implement the sharding directly in our code base. But uh, with our library, uh, when you restore the parameters, you just specified uh, this uh, sharding uh, field uh, with some of the default sharding strategy that we provide, and uh, your model gets automatically uh, sharded. And similarly, during training, you can have this uh, sharding uh, property uh, to specify the sharding from your data set uh, or optimizer. Uh, yeah. And uh, if you don't have access to multiple uh, GPU, uh, you can still try those uh, sharding features uh, with our public uh, collab runtime and just choose the uh, collab to use a TPU v2.8 that has uh, eight TPU curves, and this allows you to try for free our bigger model uh, in Collab. And on the other end of the spectrum, we know uh, many of you uh, only have a single uh, GPU, maybe with a low memory footprint, and we want Gemma to be for everyone, so that's why we also support uh, LoRa or Laurent adaptation, that is a method uh, used to reduce the memory footprint uh, during training. Uh, so here you can take any of our Gemma model and just wrap it inside our LoRa wrapper. For the optimizer, you also need to wrap it in the partial updates so that uh, only the LoRa rates are optimized and not the full network. And with those two changes, everything else works out of the box. Um, and finally, once your model is trained, uh, we have some weight surgery util that allow you to extract the LoRa rates or uh, fuse them back to the uh, model. So I talk about like some of the features of the library, but uh, if you go on our website, we have more, like for example, about uh, quantization or some DPO examples. And this is just the beginning. So uh, very soon, uh, we also plan to add like streaming decoding to use uh, model merging so you can fine tune multiple uh, Gemma experts and then uh, merge their capability together, which was one of the features uh, explained earlier today, and uh, more uh, quantization. So if you're interested, uh, you can check out our GitHub. Thank you.